Davy Baker wasn't sure if she was going to get the COVID vaccine. They said it's going to change your DNA. They came up with the vaccine too quickly. Misinformation that fueled rumors and divided communities across the country. But while the spread of COVID may have slowed since the height of the pandemic, the spread of misinformation has not. A recent survey shows one third of parents now oppose schools requiring children to get measles and other vaccines. In Oklahoma City, vaccination rates among school aged children have dropped four and a half percent over the last three years. We worry about things like measles, mumps, rubella, and other diseases that had largely been controlled, and now we're seeing increased hesitancy there. Thanks to misinformation. Thanks to misinformation. At a local clinic, Dr. Dale Bratzler says flu shots are down too, even as the nation deals with one of the worst flu seasons in years. We're only at about half of the typical number of flu uh, injections that we would typically see by this time of the year. It worries me to a great extent. Used to battling disease, the Oklahoma City Health Department now finds itself also fighting lies about vaccine safety. How dangerous is misinformation? It's cost lives. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. It's about as dangerous as it gets. The department has had to move resources to monitor public sentiment using new technology to comb through social media. When vaccine messaging was drawing fire, the health department removed the word vaccine and added choose to its public service announcements. It worked. Our negativity that we had on our, our, all of our media platforms dropped immediately. It started going down because we had offered the choice as opposed to the message of getting vaccinated. At a time when funding cuts are already stretching health departments to the limit, having to put resources toward fighting misinformation is adding to the strain. Public health funding had been cut by almost 20 percent in the decade leading up to COVID. Public health departments did not have enough people and they did not have enough money and that made their response really difficult. Davy says she finally learned the truth from a pharmacist and got the shot. I'm glad I changed my mind. And One small victory in the growing battle against medical myths. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Oklahoma City. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.